We're going to talk about viewing the closet in 3D, 3D now. Um, there's a couple options, but from the View All page, which is the page I'm on now, we have a button called View in 3D. If I click on that button, what's going to happen is it's going to take my current design um, with everything drawn properly, including color, placement, all those types of things. And as the 3D tool gets created, you you have a couple options here. And so you get basically you get placed in front of the closet. So we have a five wall closet. You can see here on the left hand side we have some keyboard um, options here. So if you the W key goes forward, the A goes to the left, S moves back, D to the right. If you use the arrow keys left and right, you can turn your head. And then Z and X descend and ascend when you're in the overhead view and O for overhead view. So if I do a W, I'm just going to walk into the closet. If I do an S, I'm going to back out of the closet. I can raise or lower my head by using the Z and the X. So the X is going to move me up and the Z is going to move me down. If I move forward and I use the arrow keys, I'm just turning my head to the left and I'm turning my head to the right. And if I use the A and the S key, or A and the D key, the A is going to step to the left, and the D is going to step, almost like a shuffle step, to the right. At any time you hit escape, you get put back outside the closet. If I hit the O key, I get an overhead view, and again I can go up or down. So if I hit the X key, I can also step myself sideways. And if I hit escape, I go back outside the closet. If I also want to, I can walk in and using my mouse, I can click and move my head. So you can just basically pivot your view and just look all around the room by holding down the left click button on your mouse and moving your, moving your mouse around. Other options you have here are you can um, go ahead and hide some walls. So if we want to turn first and fifth wall off because they're not really involved in the design, I can click those buttons, refresh my view. What will happen is it will redraw just walls 2, 3, and 4, which is a really nice way to get a full view of the closet. And here you can see the radius panels or the contoured panels on the bottom and the crown molding going around the room. If you're working with a Chrome browser, you can right click on it and save that image. So you can actually take a picture of this and save it. Not all browsers will support that, but Chrome does. You also on the right hand side have a gears option, so you can change. We have a couple of flooring options, so right now we're doing a light wood. We can do a dark wood, and that will just change the wood. You can do a carpeting if that's more appropriate. And then you can change the wall from gray to white if you want. So you can kind of get, uh, we're going to add some more options here, but you can kind of get the idea of uh, changing it to look a little bit more like your customer.